Taco Bell. And for Indiana, terrific backcourt. Halliburton and Buddy Heald, one of the premiers. When this whole thing started, did you think it was going to have this kind of impact in terms of the players being so motivated in this in-season tournament? I, I think it's taken time, right? But I think after a medal with USA Basketball, this means something to this Pacer team. So, of course, all the previous games in this tournament were at home arenas. Now a neutral site. As Demian Lillard finds some space, his first shot misses. Lopez keeps it alive. And there's Chris Middleton. Lopez, the three-pointer. That one in and out. And he'll read the centers being able to shoot three. Brooke Lopez, Miles Turner. This is how the game is starting in the new evolution. Nice alley-oop from your center to your power forward. As Malik Beasley misses that, he'll gets it. And again, a quick look to run. Topping the three-pointer. That won't go. Reggie, from a fan's perspective, are there any similarities in your mind to Indiana and the old Phoenix Suns seven seconds or less? Well, again, if you put Steve Nash and you've got Halliburton, I mean, that's the direct correlation. But I don't think they have anyone like Amari Stoudemire yet. Yet. Well, seven seconds or less. No, he has been spectacular so far. It, not just the in-season tournament all year. Drives it inside. He's such a good finisher, Doris. Uh, just his ability to handle the basketball, the switch, the big is on. Carlisle says when you ask him, why is he so special? Number one, the speed that he plays with. And it increases the speed of the entire team. Five on the shot clock. Lopez turns, shoots, and scores. The new NBA. Moving to a great shooter. Miles Turner. Turner leans in, blocked by Lopez, number one in the NBA in blocks per game. Almost three a game. Obi Toppin is guarding Atenecupo to start, but he'll, he won't do it himself. Lopez tries again and hits again. Just, uh, Lopez has turned into a very good three-point shooter. Complete change in the way he was earlier in his career. Has so much respect in his locker room. Turner throws it down with a Tenacupo right there. That's the big man being able to roll, Reggie. Yes, he can shoot three. Chris Middleton able to connect. You want to win a championship for the Bucks. Middleton is going to have to be at his best. It has not been an easy road back since that championship in 2021. First he had wrist injury, then the knees have been giving him problems. Now Tenacupo gets passed, shot is good on a foul. 4% on layups and dunks, and he's just, if you allow him to get that close, just turn the lights out, because it's over. There's Bruce Brown, Brown the excellent addition, the free agent. Halliburton gets away from Beasley, high off the glass. So easy, so easy to get it up over, twice. But then a coupon just bullies his way right at Turner. Miles Turner, a good defensive D better O there by Giannis. Halliburton, Turner, jump shot is good. You do not rest. Miles Turner was telling us, if you want to play for this Pacer team, you better be in great shape. Case in point to what you were talking about, Doris. All goes back to Tyrese and his pace and the, how he plays it. Oh, blocked by Toppin. And the second shot. Won't count. A foul came before Toppin. And, and what makes it even more incredible is his shot release. It's not high. It's not to the side. It's almost kind of right in front of you. But where he creates that separation, his speed, he's a fantastic dribbler and passer. And he knows how to change. He was questionable for the game. Didn't have a great first half. Needed an inhaler at halftime. And then took and here they are playing in Look the finals. Look at this pass. Turner misses. Bucks looking to push. Alley up to Atta Kubo. Oh, oh. Over the together. It's almost seamless. Halliburton this time with a left hand lays it up and in off the glass. We are seeing some dynamic scoring right now. And that's the third time he's gone over Brook Lopez at the rim. Middleton connects. Both teams hot. Pacers are the number one scoring team. The Bucks number three. They're one and two in terms of field goal percentage this year. Brown jump shot is good. Rick Carlisle talking about how important to have a veteran who's been there, a veteran who can defend on this young team, won a championship, the title with the Nuggets last season. Championship pedigree. And that's what you need in that locker room.
with these young people. Now, I know those great players make it easy, but he's a plug and play no matter where he's been. Ball nearly goes out of bounds. Benedict Matherin just checked in. He got the rebound. Aaron Neesmith also in for the Pacers. They're a deep team as well. Halliburton finds Turner. Three pointers, good. Turner knocks down his first. Both has knocked down two threes. Now Miles Turner again. This is the new NBA. Your centers have to be able to stretch the floor. Well, that's a nice move for Middleton. Brown was all over him. Boy, Mike, he looks like himself more and more as these minutes ramp up. His rhythm coming back. Turner draws the foul. Another great pass from Halliburton. Ninth year, first five made the playoffs all five, but first round knockouts every time, including two sweeps. He struggled the last several years in terms of not making the playoffs. He is so fired up by this young, hungry team. Yeah, he's had injuries too over the last few seasons. That's kind of contributed to the loss total for the Pacers. Uh -oh. Looked like a twisted ankle there by Brown. Little had it knocked away by Turner. Shot clock at three. Beasley has to get it off. Gets to the rim and lays it in as the shot clock expires. Let's watch Brown. There's a lead to the semifinals. You're not going to the bench right now. Ball poked out of bounds. Still pace your ball, although the Bucs. Halliburton will inbound. One team, the Bucks, 64% from the field. Indiana, 61%. Mike feet inside and Turner throws it down. Nimhard with a pretty pass. Pressure in the backcourt here. Indiana. Portis offensive rebound can't finish. Mather and Brett. Halliburton gets rid of Beasley now behind him. Left-handed block by Lopez. His second rejection. Bobby Portis to the front court. See, to me, maybe the most underappreciated guy in the league in terms of what he gives you both ends. Nice move, but oh, Blocked by Turner. Both champ tried to go to the rim. Matherin running the floor, but couldn't handle a pass. And that's the first turnover for Indy. In this first quarter. Nimhard gets up on Lillard, forces the turnover. Lillard door out. Halliburton quickly rushes the other way. Matherin. Good hands, both champ, but he stepped out of bounds. Oh, it's going to be Pacer ball. Case in point there, Matherin being a little too unselfish there. Created the opportunity. And they're all kind of building their careers, building their reputations. And Hart, Neesmith. Neesmith played very well against the Celtics the other night, but way off that one. And the Pettacupo, all he has to do is catch it. Look at the size difference now. Giannis and Neesmith. Neesmith. Really good defender, but not with the size. It's like Giannis just lost the basketball there. Good defense there. Nice feet inside. Jackson and the core. So it's collapsing the defense, which is allowing those rollers to get into good position. Yeah, but who cares about that on Turner? <laughs> it's all about ESPN today. I'm an ESPN employee. Uh, all right. What a loyal employee already. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bucks go back up. AJ Green also in for the Bucks. Both teams going to the bench early. Atetokounmpo got a piece of that. Knocked out of bounds. It'll go the other way. Willard fires away. That won't go. Portis had it. Knocked away. Knocked out of his hands. Spokechamp puts it up and in. Neesmith drives on Lillard. Gets inside. Swatted out of bounds by Portis. Seven to shoot for it.